So they said they're moving from left to right along the z-axis. Normally we don't have a z-axis be left and right, but I guess we'll follow what they said. Uh, let's see. Now they said that, um, so it's moving from left to right and it's unpolarized. So what's the direction of oscillation of the electric fields here? Um, so if they're moving on the z-axis left to right, then it would be up or down. And can it be also left to right on the y-axis as well? What would that be on the board? So in this case, I guess, in and out of the page. Yeah. into and out of the page, because this is unpolarized light. The problem said it was unpolarized, which means we have all types of fluctuations. These are just the extremes of the fluctuations. There's others too, but this will be good enough to analyze it. Okay, um, so I, it's always good to distinguish between the direction of the wave propagation and the direction of oscillations of the fields. And as usual, we won't bother drawing the magnetic field here. All right, so here's how the electric field is oscillating. And then this is gonna uh, pass through uh, wires in the x direction. They said they were going to be horizontal, but that would mean they'd have to be going into and out of the board. I think it's going to be more convenient to draw them in the board. So let's say this is the x-axis. Even though they said horizontal, I'm going to make them vertical, just because it's easier to understand. So we'll draw their x-axis like this. So we have a bunch of wires. Parallel to the x-axis. So we're not obeying the problem. We've chosen x to be vertical instead of horizontal, just for convenience. OK. Are those wires like polarizers or something? Yeah. Yeah, we have to work our way through that. But they're going to be polarizing in some way. And we have to figure out in what way they're going to be polarizing. I think this is pretty tough. I actually had to look at the answer here before I knew it. So I'll just go through the logic that they have here in the answer key. So let's think about uh, these uh, electric fields uh, over here. So these electric fields over here are oscillating up and down. So these would tend to jostle charges up and down. Because the electric field is going up and down, these would tend to jostle charges up and down as well. Now, here we, um, now these are metal wires, which is their conductors. So I think the key here is to go back to something we learned earlier in the course which is that the charges in an electric field move to cancel out any electric fields inside a conductor. Do you remember the idea that there's not supposed to be an electric field inside a conductor? There's not supposed to be an electric field inside a conductor because the charges can move to cancel out any external electric fields. Well, can the charges in these wires move to cancel out these vertical oscillations, yes, because the way to do that is to move vertically. So when these electric fields move through the wires, the charges inside the wires will move to cancel out the vertical oscillations, which means there will be no more vertical oscillations of the electric field as after it passes through this polarizer, roughly speaking. That's a rough way of looking at it over here. Okay, so no more vertical oscillations because they got canceled by the movement of the charges vertically inside the wires. However, how about these into and out of the boards? Well, the only way to cancel that would be for the charges to move into and out of the board, but they can't because they're, they're oriented this way. So those, those oscillations still exist when we get through the wires. A conductor is supposed to cancel out oscillations by the movement of the charges, but the charges can't move here in and out. They can only move up and down, so this is one way, that, uh, one respect in which this conductor can't cancel out that electric field. It can't cancel out the oscillations into and out of the board because the electric charges can't move in that direction because I've oriented these like this. All right, so originally, and here's the direction of propagation of the wave again. Originally, we had both of these oscillations, but now this oscillation is gone. And so now, which oscillations do we have left? Only into and out of the board. Uh, and now we have to be careful to put this in the terms they were talking about. So in their terms, these would be along, we only have the oscillations on the y-axis. I've shifted their horizontal wires to vertical, but we can still use their axes. So in terms of their axes, all we would have left is the x oscillations. And what we've left, and we've lost, 
Did I misspeak? I should say we only have left. What we still have is the y oscillations, and we've lost the x oscillations. Originally, we had both x and y, but now we only have the y oscillations. So does that bend into polarizing? I'm sorry, say again? That bend into like polarizing then? It's just basically. Well, basically, ha so is this I like. I mean, that part, that part. So the metal wires, are they seen as polarizers? Yeah, they basically they are a polarizer. In fact, when we talked about polarizers before, I just said, suppose I put in a polarizer, but I didn't tell you what a polarizer was. Mm -hmm. So this is a way to make a polarizer. A polarizer is a bunch of closely spaced lines. So if a polarizer, in that case, it's going up and down on the x-axis, then going in and out of the board is seen as perpendicular to that. So would they be able to go through? I don't know if I follow that. I guess because I'm saying when I think of polarizing, polarizers, I think of light being able to come out. To right. Pass. Now, yeah, maybe I think I see what you're saying here. So when I did this problem, I got it wrong. Because when I looked at this, I said, gee, I thought the polarizer was oriented up and down. So it should let through the up and down oscillations. Mm -hmm. So my first answer is that we were going to keep the x oscillations and lose the y's. And my mistake was that the direction of the wires is not the polarizing direction that in from the pictures we saw earlier. What we just proved is that the polarizing direction is actually perpendicular to the direction of the wires in the polarizer. So earlier, so if I was going to draw this as a polarizer, if I was going to draw this uh, as a uh, polarizer, I would draw it as an into and out of the page polarizer in terms of the earlier pictures that we had is gone through. Is it perpendicular to the moving charges? Say again? Or, so why is the polarizer in and out of the board? Well, that was that whole argument that we just went through. We just went through a whole argument that when the wires are um, parallel to the oscillation, they cancel it out. And when the wires are perpendicular to an oscillation, they let it through. So what type of, uh, so what type of oscillation does it let through? It lets through oscillations that are perpendicular to the wires. Now, that wasn't my first guess either. Um, I thought that this would just let through things that are vertical, but when we really thought it through, it turned out to be more complicated uh, than both of our first thoughts. So the argument is, um, that um, the wires cancel out an oscillation that's parallel to the wires, and they let through an oscillation that's perpendicular to the wires, which means the polarizing direction of the wires is perpendicular to the direction of the wires. So even though you would draw the metal wires physically like this, if you were going to represent their polarizing direction, the oscillation lets through, you would draw it like this. That, that is confusing. And that is, again, why, uh, and this was our y oscillations in this case. So that's why in this case, we keep the y oscillations into and out the board and we lost the x. So, so the big upshot here is you, um, you can't just say, oh, the direction of the polarizer is the direction of the wires. Actually, the polarizing direction is perpendicular to the wires, and we just tried to give an argument for why that is. A confusing argument. <laughs>